it's a survival story and it's like a woman drowning and thrashing and then finally coming up on shore and taking that very successful like gasp. So it's all set over three days over a Christmas um, in the sort of early 90s towards the very end of their marriage. And it's a very jolly royal Christmas with uh with very specific moments, specific times they eat, specific things they do, specific clothes to wear. But it also happens to be a time in Diana's life where she's at a breaking point, I think. The Majesty herself just a second ago sat on these scales. And she was very insistent that everyone joins in. I don't think I've seen you before. This is my first sand ring on duty. To make sure everyone joins in. They said, no one is above tradition. Okay, fine. I'm in enough trouble. We have to put on three pounds minimum before we leave. To prove we enjoyed Christmas. Yes? That is the tradition. When we, you know, we start working on, on, on the idea, we realized that we were not doing a biopic and that made me really feel better that we were just doing a take on on someone like her it was a an interesting fable almost or, or fairy tale version of how we can imagine uh diana who's beloved to so many people finally making the decision to perhaps break up her family which would have been a, a hugely uh, you know, important decision to make. So that um, was obviously something that, that grabbed me straight away. Also knowing the way that Pablo would have handled the material. Something like this could go either way. It could be <laughs> a, a real train wreck. So I knew in Pablo's hands, it would be crafted into a wonderful uh, story. It's not an investigation of her relationship mainly with the other royal family. Although it is there, it's, the pe people she relates to more are the staff, the dresser, you know, the chef. And in my case, I suppose you say Major Gregory is an, the antagonist to a certain degree in this. He's representative of the um, rules and regulations and the spirit of the crown, which she, of course, is in this struggling to fight against to, uh, it's in some ways, dig out uh, her own personality uh, within it without drowning in it. You know? Look, emergency way, looks beautiful. It doesn't fit. Have you tried it on? No, with my mood. It doesn't fit with my mood. It should be black. Black to contrast the pearls. Not only did I rescue it from a scarecrow, I'm talking to it. The rumors of my disintegration confirmed. One thing that I will say about shooting and what it felt like to be on set, I've never, I've never been on such a beautiful movie. I, I've never actually um, been immersed in such uh, craft. My wardrobe, my hair, wigs are usually terrible. Kristen is nothing look like Diana um, in real life, and in the. And also, if you speak to her, and she's so different. I mean, like personality is so. I I, I don't see Diana in her when you're when I'm talking to Christians as a Christian Stewart, <laughs> but um, she mastered the art of perfecting the personality of the Diana. And then I'm I'm just helping a bit of hair. <laughs> that, that's all. Knowing Pablo and his work, I knew in the hands of a master like him we were going to get an entirely different look um, at an institution that we're also familiar with. Um, and, you know, I love the idea of a foreigner coming in and looking at our society in Britain and pre presenting it in a way that we perhaps could never, never see. And that seems to be borne out by what we're seeing being filmed. I love the way that Pablo works. I love how on my toes I feel, how, you know, how I'm... You know, Pablo will do these things that you'll shoot a scene and you'll suddenly find yourself, he will just totally uh, throw you in at the deep end doing something else.
without having warned you, without having, and, and, and you'll suddenly find yourself doing something completely different. Uh, and you're thrown and you're off balance. And I love that kind of work because it makes you do things that you didn't know you could. It, it's so beautiful and weird at the same time because you have a Latin American director with an American actress in Germany with a half British and mostly German crew making a movie about a British icon. I think as soon as the movie starts, something happens, you fall into the poetry of it. And I guess there's no other way to put it. Like suddenly I, I stop trying to figure things out and I'm just very much going with her. And it feels more emotional. It feels more instinctive and like uh, kind of pulsing than than I think people are gonna expect. 